Continuing team coverage tonight on the sixth night of protests. Here's John Sherrick. Aisha, as you know, there are hundreds of stories, thousands of stories from the crowds every day and every night, including now the tale of two women who decided today they could not sit back at home any longer. Late in the afternoon, at one of the rallies of the state capitol, two women from Gwinnett County who have never joined any protest, Devana Terrell and Brianna Harris, tell me they are through watching the protests on a screen from home. They found peace and purpose being here. And we're just tired of the mistreating that, you know, our people is going through, and I just feel like now is the time for change. Like, enough is enough. Um, we just want to get the message across that police brutality is not accepted anymore. They made signs with the names of George Floyd and Ahmaud Arbery, on and on, more names than their signs could fit. Who is hearing them? I don't know who, but I hope they all are. I just want to say that I just hope they're listening and they hear us and they see us. Just hear us and see us. That's it. We're trying to do this the peaceful way, and we thank the people that's doing it the peaceful way. We want to do it the right way. We're not here to hurt people or harm people. We just want people to hear us. In their words, silence is compliance. Silence is violence. If you're not speaking up for the injustices of black people in the black community, then you're just as bad as the rest. And they say they will be back here tomorrow and the next day and the next day because they say this is now their cause too.